Welcome to Right Vibe Yoga, Yoga with Yulia. In this morning yoga class, you are going to wake your body up nicely and slowly with easy but effective asana, preparing your body and mind for the rest of the day. Today's class is performed at the breathtaking Black Lake, Lagonero, situated in the Italian Alps. It's time to begin. Today we'll start in a sitting on Shin's pose. Let's take a three deep breaths to bring your awareness to the practice. Inhale, unite your hands above the head. Exhale, bring them to your heart. Inhale, the arms to the top. Exhale, and Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. Now put your right hand on the left ear. Gently push your head towards the right shoulder. Your shoulders are not moving, keep them down. If you can, extend the left arm and walk with the fingers towards the left. Feel the stretch in your neck. Inhale, release the head. At the next inhale, bring the left arm behind the back with the palm looking upward. Unite the right palm with the left one in Anjali Mudra. The right elbow is directed to the right. A few breaths in this pose. Keep breathing and opening your heart. At the next exhale, put your arms down. Inhale, raise the left arm. Exhale, push with the left hand the right here towards the left shoulder. If you can, inhale, walk with the fingers of the right hand to the left or as far as you can. Enjoy the stretch in your neck. Nice. Exhale, release the pose. Inhale and unite your palms under the left armpit. Arch your back slightly to create more space for your arm. Breathe here. Exhale and detach the palms. Let's warm up the spine. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round it. Inhale, bring the chest forward. Exhale, bring it inward. Continue like this for three more times. Connect the movement to your breathing path. Now stop in the center. Lock your hands behind the back. Inhale and exhale and go forward with your chest and bring the outstretched arms to the top. The forehead is resting on the mat. Three presses in this pose. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. Inhale slowly, unroll your spine to the top. Put your hands behind the back. The fingers are looking forwards. Arch your back. Look towards the sky. Nicely done. Now lift your hips to the top. Put your left foot and then the right one on the mat. Your shins are perpendicular to the mat. Your thighs, glutes, back and shoulders are forming one line that is parallel to the ground. The legs are parallel to each other. Make sure that your neck is not pressed. Look towards the sky or you can keep your eyes closed. Strong with the arms and the legs. One more breath here and then release the pose. Put your glutes on the ground and lay down on your back with your feet resting on the mat. Put your left foot on the upper part of the left knee. Both knees are flexed. Inhale, lift your glutes in the back. Exhale, slowly return to the mat. Inhale, the hips to the top. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Repeat for two more times following the path of your breathing. At the next exhale, release the left leg. Inhale and change the legs. Now the right foot is resting against the left thigh. Inhale, lift the glutes and the back. Exhale, release. Inhale to the top. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, push to the sky. Exhale, relax on the mat. Once again and stop. Nicely done. Let's take set to Banda Sarvangasana. Inhale, lift the glutes, lock the fingers under your lower back, 
Move the weight to the upper part of your shoulder blades and shoulders. Inhale, squeeze the glutes more in the way that your lower back would slightly arch. One more breath here and then release the pose. Awesome job! Bring the knees to your chest. Embrace them with your hands. Start swinging, kick back with your hips and then go forward. Kick back, forward, once again and push your torso forward. Sit on your hips. Good. Now assume the cat pose, Marjariasana. Ensure that your hands are under the shoulders, the fingers are widely spread and the knees are hips width apart. The neck is following the spine. Start rotating your chest and your hips to the left. When you are ready, add also the shoulders into the movement. You can slightly flex your elbows if you need. Remember that it does not need to look good, but you have to feel a nice warming and relieving sensation. Great. Stop in the center and inhaling start doing circular movements with your spine and hips to the right. Inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Amplify the rotation and your breathing. When you are ready, add the shoulders into the movement. At the next inhale, stop in the center. Nicely done. Now extend the left arm forward and the right leg backward. Inhale here and exhaling, bring your left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, extend, exhale the elbow to the knee. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Continue like this for four more times, following the pace of your breathing. Do the movement slow and nice. It helps to straighten the abdomen, the muscles group which we use the most in yoga. Once again, and stop. The right leg and the left arm to the mat. Inhale, now extend the left arm and the right leg. At the next exhale, reach with your right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, flex. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Continue for four more times autonomously. Notice the work of your abs. Look at the fixed point in front of you. Once again, and then return the arm and the leg on the mat. Inhaling, slide with your hands forward in the way that your chest reaches to the mat. Drop your forehead or chin on the mat and breathe. Try to arch your back and inhale and lower the ribcage for as much as you can. Two more breaths in this pose. Enjoy the puppy pose stretch. Inhaling, slide into the cobra pose by resting your forearms on the mat and pushing your hips forwards and to the floor. Arch your back and then push with your hands to bring your hips into the cat pose. At the next exhale, lift your glutes to the top Try to straighten your knees if you can. Walk on spot for a few breaths to warm your legs up. Lead one heel from the ground and then another one. Inhale and exhaling, extend the knees. Reach with your heels to the mat if you can. Inhale, bring the knees on the mat. Exhale, press it to Ashtanga Namaskara, the chest and the chin on the floor. The tailbone looks to the top. The elbows are close to the chest. Inhale, slide into the cobra pose. Exhale, go to the plank. Inhale here and then exhaling, push with your hands to Atko Mukha Svanasana. Nicely done. Take a deep breath in. And breathing out, walk with the straight legs toward the feet. Inhale, the hands on the knees, straighten your back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Flex your knees and when inhale, roll your spine up to the sky. Unite palms about the head and then exhale. Bring Anjali Mudra in front of your chest. Inhale, lock the fingers behind your back and slightly arch your spine, bringing the palms away. At the next inhale, the arms to the top. Exhale, forward fold. The hands are on the mat. Bend your legs if you feel tension there. One step backward to reach the downward facing dog. Beautifully done. Inhale, put your knees on the mat. 
Inhale, extend the right leg backwards. And exhaling, bring it forward. Slide with the right heel between the hands. Try to extend the right knee. It is also fine to keep it flexed. Now all the accent goes to the straightening the back and reaching the mat with the fingers or hands. Good. Inhaling, move your weight to the right foot. Exhaling, push your hips to the ground. Inhale, arms to the top, the crescent moon pose. Look toward the sky. At the next inhale, put the right hand on the left thigh. Exhale here. Find the balance. Look forward. Breathe and focus. Exhale, rest your hands on the mat. Now lift the left shin to the top. Grab the left ankle with the right hand. Once you are stable here, detach the left hand and grab the left ankle. Stay balanced and breathe. Both elbows look to the top. One more breath here and then slowly with love release the leg. Put the hands on the mat. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, go to the half split pose, the abdomen reaching the thighs. Inhale, extend the right leg backwards and then rest the right knee on the mat. Beautifully done! Now let's extend the left leg backwards when inhale. Exhale, bring your foot between the hands. The foot is flexed. If you can straighten your left leg. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, go lower with your chest. Inhale, move the weight forward. Exhale, the hips pressing towards the mat. Inhale, arms to the top. Slightly arch your back. The palms are looking towards each other. The shoulders are low. At the next inhale, reach with your left hand the right thigh. Breathe in this pose. Find your balance. One more breath here. And then exhaling, bring the hands to the mat. Lift the right shin to the top. Grab the right ankle with the opposite hand. Find your equilibrium. And then detach your right hand and grab the ankle. Open your chest. Close the shoulder blades. Breathe. Exhaling. Rest the hands on the mat. Inhale. Elongate the spine. Exhale back to the half split. Extend the leg and back. Inhale, bring the outstretched right leg backward and then put it on the mat. Stand on your knees. The thighs and the glutes are perpendicular to the mat. Inhale, reach with your left hand to the left heel. Exhale, go forward with your torso. Inhale, outstretch the left arm backward. Exhale, flow from the right to the left. Inhale, outstretch the left arm above the head. Continue like this for two more times. You can point your feet if it's hard to reach the heels. Exhale, go forward. Inhale to the right. Wonderful. Our lower back is ready for the camel pose. Point your feet. Inhale, push your hips forward. Arch your back. Continue breathing. Keep your glutes engaged. If this is easy, rest your feet on the mat. Then slowly, with control, drop your head backward. Breathe in Ustrasana. Awesome job! At the next inhale, slowly sit on your shins. Outstretch one leg forward and then another one. The hands are placed on the sides. The back is straight. When you are ready, flex the right leg and bring the right foot outside of the left thigh. Flex the left leg and place the left foot next to the right glute. Inhale, arms to the top, straight in your back. Exhaling, torsion to the right. Press with your left elbow against the right knee. The right hand looks upward, the left hand is placed behind. To intensify the pose, press with your left hand through the space created between the legs and slide with the right hand behind your back. Inhale, clasp the hands. Take a few deep breaths here. Feel the torsion. Relax your mind. Beautiful. 
Now inhale to the center, release the hands and extend the legs. Let's do it for another side. Now the left foot goes outside the right thigh, the right foot outside the left glute. Inhale the arms to the top, exhaling twist to the left. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, release the tension in your spine and your hips. If you feel like, inhale and clasp the hands behind the back. Open the chest. Keep your shoulders even. One more breath here and then release the pose. Unite your soles with the legs forming a shape of a butterfly. The heels are placed 40 cm far from the perineum. Put your hands on the feet. Inhale, extend the back. Exhaling, try to reach with your forehead the feet, maintaining the back straight. You can press with your elbows against the thighs to open the hips more. At the next exhale, try to drop your head towards the feet. Lovely. Inhale, lift your torso. Put the heels one in front of each other and in line with the perineum. Straighten your back. The hands are in Jnana Mudra resting on the knees. One more breath to refocus in Sukhasana. Inhale, unite the palms above the head and exhaling, bring Anjali Mudra to the third eye. Thank yourself for finding time for this beautiful practice. I send you my love and light. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribe to my channel to be notified about my newly released yoga classes. See you soon.